put your finger on the number 30. So there's another prize for you guys. Okay? If you get to the 30th day of the month, and you've done all your chores for 30 days, and you had no timeouts for 30 days, mm -hmm. you guys get an extra bonus. You want to know what it is? Mm -hmm. You get 100 extra beans. Ooh. Tibbs Table Talk are special times where we gather over a meal to discuss important things that impact our family. The life we live is not only challenging for us, but for our kids as well. That's why Tibbs Table Talk is an important part of the way we communicate and make decisions as a family. Now we have a surprise for you guys. We are going to change the grow game today. Do you guys want to see how it goes? Don't get too excited. Aww. So first of all, we're going to have a new board, a new game board. Do you want to see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So here is the old board, and here is the new board, okay? So what you guys need to do is go ahead and take the pins out of that board. And take the paper off. Okay. Here's a new paper. Okay. So you can cut this. And you can cut it if you'd like. Here's the scissors. You can cut it if you'd like. Glue it, glue it on the board. Is this nice and even? Yep, good job. Okay. Okay. Alright, glue that sucker on, and then I got some more surprises for you. Yep. And then as much as in the middle as you can. There you go. Yep, everybody put your pin in day number one. Yeah, I thought you were... Oh, yeah. Because tomorrow is the first day of March. So now, there's new rules. One of them Jan already saw, that one day equals eight beans. So that means if you get to advance from the previous day to the new day, that's an automatic eight beans. These are the new what? rules. What? These are the new rules. The new rules. So here is the new chart. Okay? Uh, so let's take a look at this. So Jana's, every day you have to make your bed before breakfast. You have to do Bible study. You have to do your nighttime routine, clean your room, and do 30 minutes of exercise. That's just every day normal. Okay? On Sunday, okay. you don't have to do exercise. But everything else oh, you yeah. still have to do. Okay? Uh, day by day chores. Every day you have a different chore, and these are basically the same as last time. Okay, so Jana on Mondays d dinner dishes, Andy's set the table, Megan has dust the chairs. Okay, so that's your chair that you have to do. Today's Thursday, so I get to do Ruby Dust Room. Yep, and trash. that's right. Hey. So you get to do a little bit different. Ah, uh, Saturday. Still have to do trash on yeah. Saturdays. Okay. I'm, uh. Now, I have got a very exciting new twist. What's the twist? Screen time bonus chores. What? What do you think that means? Now, um, get if we do our chores, we, then like we do extra chores, then we get more screen time. Yep. Yay. So, have you ever heard us say that with more responsibility comes more reward? Yeah. Yeah. So when you have to do something more, and when you get older and you have to do new things, mm -hmm. you get more responsibility. So, Ding. if you're willing to take these extra chores down here in the blue. Yeah then you get an extra 10 minutes of screen time after your bedtime. What? Oh. These are your new bags to keep your beans, okay? Oh. But you get to decorate them, okay? So here's your bag, here's your bag, and here's your bag.
So four years ago, Jill and I decided to uh, invent the Grow Game, and the Grow Game, the purpose of that was to give our kids a fun and interactive way to do their chores every day, but also to develop their lives and develop habits for their lives in a holistic way. And now that our kids are older, I'm actually seeing the benefits of their daily chores. For example, when they started their chores four years ago, they were a lot younger than they are now. And sometimes I was thinking that these chores were gonna cause more of a work for me, <laughs> either preparing on them with the supplies. And they did. Or whatever, yes. And so, but now that four years have passed and our kids are a lot older, and I can see now that the chores that they do every day actually help me and lighten our workload around the house. This isn't just giving them money for doing chores. It's also a way for them to develop habits that we hope that they take to their lives as they become adults. So we really have focused on the mind and the body and the soul. An example of the mind would be we noticed in our son Andy that he was really struggling in the area of spelling in the English language. Um, our kids go to school almost 75% of their days in Spanish here in Ecuador and Andy was just str struggling and not knowing how to spell words in English. So we just saw this as a problem and came up with a solution that he would practice spelling words every day. We come up with a list weekly and then every day he practices them and then on Friday he does a test. And we've really seen um, improvements in his spelling. From the body side of it, we want them to be doing exercise. We want them to create habits now that, so that when they're in college or on their own as adults, that's just a part of life, that they, they get exercise every day. And then the part of the soul, we have them do Bible study every day. And so we want them to be getting into the Word and really uh, being saturated with God's Word. So we give them a bean uh, for different things. And so if they do all of their chores in a day, they get eight beans, and these beans are worth 20 cents a piece at the end of the month. So at the end of the month, we bring them all together, they count out their beans, and then we give them their allowance based on how many beans they've earned for the month, and this gives them an opportunity to also develop their ability with financial management. We've set it up to where it's mandatory that 50% of what they make is for spending, and they can spend it pretty much on whatever they want, 40% of it is for investing, and they each actually have a brokerage account, and so they buy and sell stocks uh, with their investment funds. And then 10% of it is to give away and, and uh, to tithe it, um, and we have different, several different things that they give their money to. And we really want the kids to know the value of money, and if they have to purchase something that they want with their own money, they realize that they've earned this, they've done chores to receive this. And the other day I was talking to Megan, our youngest, about um, a slime that she had purchased, and I said, um, if you're not careful, I'm going to get rid of that slime because it was making a mess in the house or whatever. And she's like, but I paid $5 for that slime. So it's good that she doesn't just take it for granted that she has all these toys, all these things that she has, but she actually can place some value on them. What would you say the results have been? Well, the results that I see now is that, as I was saying earlier, the chores that they do really do help around the house. Um, and I can see fruit of like Megan having responsibility of understanding the value of things that she has purchased and not just mm -hmm. seeing them go to waste or not caring about them. Like she, they care about these things in their lives. Um, and then also with the exercise, I just think it's been good. It's been fun to watch our oldest who's 13 and she has a phone, just look up apps to find simple and quick and easy exercises that she can do. And I want her to continue that so she can live her whole life being healthy. So we want them to be healthy in all, in all three areas. Based on our kids' ages and how we've just seen changes in our family or even the home we've lived in, um, we've changed the chore chart from time to time. And that just keeps it interesting and different for the kids. For example, Andy, our son, was doing trash like three times a week and he really got tired of it. So we switched and have him do it twice a week and Jana once a week. And now that Jana's older, you know, we've switched so she can mop her room once a week. Yeah, and so on this latest iteration, this is the fourth or fifth version, we're calling it version four, um, we've added this new twist to where if all three of the kids do all their chores all month long and don't go to timeout, then they, as a family, we get a hundred bean bonus, which is about 20, it was just $20. And uh, then we'll take that and we'll go do a fun activity with the family. So we just do things like that to keep it fresh, to keep it exciting, and to keep the kids engaged. So we'd like to hear from you. What do you think of, is it a mistake to pay children to do different things? What, what's kind of your thoughts on that? Um, and also, if you would be interested in getting more information about how maybe to implement this into your family, we'd be glad to help, no charge at all. Just email us at bjjam at gmail.com. That's bjjam 
at gmail.com, and we would love to help you out. Can I do Bible study? Did you do your rest of your chores yet? Um, kind of. Okay, do the rest of your chores, please. Screen time, isn't it past your bedtime? Then how is it that you're doing screen time? I did my extra tour.